New hit music, fewer commercials. 103.3 Amp Radio JD. Download the allnewradio.com app. Plug. Uh, I didn't know if she wanted to come back because she lost the flip cup the last time she was here. Oh, my gosh. I forgot that. I did lose. Tragic. Hey, Madison Beer. Hey. Good to see you again. You too. Uh, you were at the Red Sox game yesterday. I was. I was at Fenway. It was awesome. And you were... You were like in the bleachers. What's up? Did no one want to like give you the plug on tickets to get oh, a little closer? Well, I kind of wanted to. I mean, <laughs> no, but also I kind of wanted to be like low key and not be in like the dugout or whatever that's called. Yeah. But it was so fun. I was also with so many people that it was like, you know, but it was so much fun. It was I like being in the bleachers and like seeing everything. And they sing uh, Sweet Caroline. Which was that your so first time at Fenway? It was my first time at Fenway. Yes, I believe. Yeah, yeah, and you got the yeah. beanie. You, you like went all in. Is there like I a did. is there like a go to ballpark food that when you go to like a sporting event, you're like, yo. I only eat hot dogs at like games like that. Did you have a Fenway Frank? I didn't. Should I have done that? Yes. I didn't. Was it like something that you, I had a pretzel you guys and did? ice cream? Pretzel in the in the in the get like, the hat. Of course I did. Yo. Of course. Like that's my go to. Absolutely, I did. Even if I have a hundred beers, I still. Oh go in you must have to have and was to. that something like that y'all just did for like the tour because i'm you do you normally have a day off in between your cities Is um that not normally but like i tr have tried to schedule a few in the place like my dad went to college here so i kind of where you went to BU. oh no way mm -hmm. dope so i try to like schedule days off in places that i really do want to see we had a day off in amarillo texas because it's like the most random place ever and it was yeah. so fun actually but um but yeah, no, I mean, I love Boston and I love being here and I definitely wanted to go to Fenway. That's so crazy. Your pops didn't want to make the trip down here. He's to... here. He's oh, he's here. here though? Yeah, he's here. Wow. That's, that's awesome. I know. All right. So you're on tour right now, the As She Pleases tour. Yes. And you started over in Europe. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask maybe some things that you learned from over there that you carried over specifically for this tour. Maybe some things you were trying out over there that you were like, all right, I got to bring this to, to the American tour. Um, I mean, the set list is something that we really were playing around with in Europe. We were, like, adding covers, changing covers. I mean, like, I don't want to say I speak French, but I know some, like, French a little bit. So when we were in France, I wanted to sing a song that had French in it mm -hmm. so I could, like, show off a little bit. So mm -hmm. I, sang, I sang Michelle by the Beatles, which was dope, and it was great. So we, like, interchanged some of the things that we did. But um, in the U.S., we've kind of just stuck to the same set list every night just because it gives me less anxiety and makes it run smoother, and I don't have to keep looking every two seconds at it. But, yeah, yeah I mean, it was Europe was an experience for sure. It Anything was that surprised you? How many fans didn't speak a lick of English but knew every single word to the songs was sick. It was Isn't so that cool. wild? It's sick. It's the, literally – I would, like, meet them after the show, and they didn't even know how to say, like, hi i love you and they you know knew literally every lyric to the songs it's just, it's just really cool i feel like you are you're in a very good space right now and you're very present thank you you know i can just tell with kind of you know social media and all these things you just seem like you're very appreciative of the of the moment talk about that yeah no absolutely i mean i i don't take anything for granted and i never celebrate anything until it's worthy of being celebrated in the sense yeah. of like you know i mean it's cool to get excited about things and whatnot but i i really value like experiences with my fans and the moments that we share together on stage and it's a very vulnerable experience for me i sing covers that are you know that mean something personal to me and i cried a few times on stage i mean since it's like we're getting into the last few shows i'm definitely more emotional and, and it's just it's just so special what i get to do and it's i'm i feel so blessed and i would never take it for granted because for so long i wasn't able to do this and i wasn't able to you know just go on tour and meet all my fans and do such cool things so now that i'm really doing it and now that it's like over it's just it's crazy so then the the final question about the tour is well then what have you learned um to not you know, let it fly by. I think I let it kind of fly by me. I didn't really take and like soak up every single second of it. You're on the move though. You know what well, I'm that's, saying? Yeah, like that's it. what it is. Is I literally every sec. It's like okay, we go from meeting to hair and makeup to meet and greet to sound check to, to show, show to bus Radio, to next city. To TV. Yeah, it's yeah, just it's yeah. nonstop. So I don't really have time to soak it up. But it's you know I try and the spots that I've been able to really be like, okay, let me just take a breather and yeah. enjoy this view of. Fenway it's you know it's cool it's it's it means a lot those moments that's dope and yeah. that was your first time being a part of the like the sweet Caroline thing so that, oh, it was, that had it to was have been like a moment I was so excited <laughs> to do that all right let's get into some fan questions here Ooh. um let's see are you going to be paying attention to the royal wedding this weekend oh that's this weekend yeah it's on Saturday wow um I mean paying attention 
in the sense of like looking on social media. Yeah. Sure, yes. Are you gonna? But are you I don't know. Are they like live streaming? <laughs> I think so. Of really? course. I think so. Oh my Somewhere god, that's has crazy. To. Yeah. But uh, I think they're so cute. Yeah, I I definitely will be looking. I saw they they're coming out with a movie about them. Like a documentary or something? No, it's like a, actors. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I saw a trailer. Like on of Lifetime it. or something? No, it's oh. it's a real movie <laughs> about like how they met and how they're so cute together. I could be totally making that up, but I think be. I saw a trailer for that. Well, th- I mean, it's it's going to be a movie for sure this weekend. All right, yeah. a movie that gets you in your feelings. Ooh, like makes me cry. Toy Stories. Any of the Toy Stories are like tear jerkers to me. But um Hmm. What's like your what's your genre? Oh, my genre's weird. My genre's not really like emotional like notebook type movies. Yeah. I've never even seen The Notebook actually. Um, good for you. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I've never seen it. But, um, I mean, like, I like movies like The Matrix, Inception. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's that's kind of who you are musically, too, because you're yeah. like, yo, you're like Fight all love. over the place with your music. Like, yeah. you listen to everything. Mm-hmm, let's Let's do this. How about, you know, JB put you up on game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Why don't you put some, some people, give me, like, two artists right now that you are addicted to that you feel like you know are going to blow up for sure. Ooh, um... This kid named Daniel Hex is okay. really sick. He's has makes really what do you like, like about spooky Daniel black Hex? type. Mm-hmm. It's really sick music. It's just really dope. Um, and then I mean Rex Orange County is already huge, so I can't really say that he's gonna blow up. But I hope he continues to grow. I commented on his photo the other day, "Happy birthday!" and all his fans were like, "Shut up, Madison! Like get out of here!" <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my! I'm just saying happy birthday. I'm a fan of his too. Like I really love his music, and I've I've loved it for a long time. People I think just get, you know, they're like, if you haven't loved him from day one, you don't deserve it. And I'm like, well, I still love his music. I think he's amazing. I got to meet him at Coachella. Which well, the last time cool. you were here, people were cutting up inter- part of the interviews. I know. With you. <laughs> <laughs> there was, I was like, what was that? Oh, my gosh. Um, let's see. What else do we got here? Does anyone have a time limit as far as texting back? Do you have a text back shot clock? Meaning what? Like, like yo, you know, you have X amount of time to hit me back. Otherwise, you're about to get this well, call. My, I could even, I could literally show you. I have. Um, yeah, show me all your texts, please. I could. Yeah, I don't have anything to hide. I got <laughs> you. Um, I have. 273 unopened texts that Yo, those you're are ridiculous the ones, those bro those are the ones that i haven't even opened though like think about that well do you I've leave it opened, on red do you have people no but that like le- none of these are answered like unanswered uh, wait unanswered what are you saying to drake <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> he's lying unanswered like i don't answer anyone yeah and it's such a bad habit because i'll basically feel good about yourself I, doing that no, you feel good about mean. yourself doing that and what i do is i'll someone will text me i'll yeah. open it and then someone will call me and i'll forget to text the person back or i'll go on you know i'll do whatever it's it's bad and 200 always, plus messages it's embarrassing ridiculous. i know it's really embarrassing you and i'm not even popular i literally get texted maybe once a day from like one person i swear to god the amount of text messages that i get is not we want to why because you don't text nobody back that's why that's they don't exactly, want to talk to you no absolutely. more absolutely yeah, well you have your crew of people blame anyone. <laughs> <laughs> um all right this is going to get us some web hits let's, so let's like go. let's do this uh when is uh when are you going to release the home with you music video Ooh, we actually shot that while on tour, which was really cool. We shot it in um, Chicago. It was sick. I'm like trying to remember. Tight. When's it come out? Um, we don't have an exact date. We're just waiting for it to be edited right now, which hopefully this month, next month. I don't know. Somewhere before August, we're hoping. Um, it's not going to get it done. No, it's going to be positive. All right. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> we filmed it while I was on tour. I literally like did the show. And woke up at like 6 a.m., did the whole music video all day, and then the next day woke up at 4 a.m. to take a 6 a.m. flight to my next show. And like, Not so I'm trying. Helps is like, I'm trying. I'm trying to get hits. That's what we need subscribers. It's all your fault, Matt. I'll tell you, I'll be, I'll, you guys will have the exclusive when I know. I'll make Perfect. sure you guys can shout it out first. There it is. <laughs> and let's see. So, tour can obviously sometimes be a grind. You get cranky on tour when? Whenever anyone wakes me up, I get really, really, really. My what? friend Brittany's sitting right over there, and she's yeah. usually the one to wake me. And I'm always like, Brittany, get out. What time is she the most crankiest? Before what time? <laughs> Any time. That's before not, I eat. Like, is there like before like a nine or a ten? Yeah. Well, she's the only. Oh, I'm she, glad. She's to see the her designated face. waker no, upper. I'm glad to see her is face in the morning. Up? She's. I like seeing her face. It make puts me in a better mood than if someone else were to wake me, but. Yeah, I'm cranky when, I also get really cranky though if like, I ask for something really simple, 
and it doesn't get done because I d- this sounds like really rude, but I do everything for like everyone on my team. Like I'll always except for text them back. Yeah, yes. Right. But I'll be like, can I? Can someone grab me a bottle of water? Because I have to go do sound check right now. Mm-hmm. And then I'm like, it's 30 minutes later. Where's my water? And I get so upset because I'm like, please, I'm, oh, I'm I have. It's my water. I, right. Imagine if I acted like that. <laughs> No, I would never in my life. I, this sounds so <laughs> stuck up, but it's seriously. I, I'm literally on stage sound checking for an hour. Then I have to run into me. Like I have to do a lot of. You things got one like, job, yo. You're all singing. All I want is my you're, bottle of water, please. I feel you. And so that that upsets me a little bit. You're allowed to be bad. But and I could also just that. get myself my own water. You, you also could do I that. I could do that. Well, I can't. I'm on stage. Listen, you're busy. You I'm got trying things to just happening. Validate. You my, understand. And yeah. last thing, <laughs> you heard DJ Tone Terra, uh, his remix. For Sick. for yours, for it's your for insane. your single. Shout out to DJ Tone Terra. Oh, that hold was on. Insane. There's a, there's another dude that if if I don't say his name, then he's gonna get really upset. And Blu-ray, 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 Blu-ray and Tone Terra are out here doing remixes. They're incredible. They're incredible. So yeah, I'm shout just out saying, to both of you guys. There it is, <laughs> Madison Beer. Anything else that we need to tell the people right now? Um, you did go to the Red Sox game and they lost, so you might not be invited back to Fenway. I've been saying that that's like a bad luck charm, but so I... So don't go to the Celtics game tonight. <laughs> oh, okay, I can't anyway, but uh, shout out to the Celtics. Watch, they're going to lose now. <laughs> go don't jinx them. After don't the jinx show, them. I was literally, after the show, after the game, I was literally running in the streets like, let's go Red Sox. And oh, yeah. when no one would clap or sing back with me, I was like, come on, Boston. Hey, and uh, do can we get a, a yodel? No, from you? Are you gonna not. do the yodeling? Absolutely. That was, the hall, that was just the hall. That was just the hallway performance. For you. That was just private Damn performance it. for you. Maybe one day. <laughs> Damn it! It was so good, yo. Know? Like it was so good. That's that's a collabo you need to be a part of. Uh, Madison Beer, one zero three three Amp Radio. Thanks for coming through. Bye. Yay.